The LAPD is embarking on a new effort to provide you with more information. It's a professionally produced and edited 17-minute presentation by the LAPD, available online to the public, detailing a standoff with a suspect named Jose Chavez from May, complete with a narration and a graphic detailing Chavez's criminal history. Uh, hello, I'd like to report a suspicious person. It started as a 911 prowler call, a man in the street. It escalated to the use of beanbags. Beanbag ready! Police say Chavez wasn't cooperating, picked up a metal dustpan, a flower, and then a pipe. When he doesn't drop the pipe, they fire additional beanbag rounds at him. More than a half hour later, he was tasered. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! It's very important, Los Angeles Police Department, that we be as accountable as possible to the public. And so to do that, uh, we are going to release more and more information. The LAPD narration describes how the suspect stopped breathing, how paramedics took over, how he died at the hospital. The first of many videos to be released, but... I think that this was a piece that was designed to have you walk away from it saying the police did a great job. A more transparent police department? Maybe so, but some, including Jasmine Canick, a political consultant who's been critical of the LAPD in the past, says the police should just put out the raw footage. You don't think the police department deserves any credit for releasing this? I think that the police department needs to go back to the drawing board and understand how the community wants information from them. Which is? This is not what we wanted. I think what the community wants is the raw footage. Just give us the footage without the explanation. Canick also acknowledges since this was the first time police deserve some leeway. And Chief Beck said he did welcome feedback. He'll get it. And he's already gotten it from the family of, Ho of Jose Chavez, that man who died, cause of his death, still uh, undetermined, by the way. Uh, Luis Carrillo, who was a, an attorney who frequently sues the LAPD, said this video was heavily edited and slanted completely in favor of the LAPD. Now, Chief Beck, anticipating this type of criticism, said that in his view, the department is striving to make these balanced without skewing towards any point of view. Well, it's clear that not everyone agrees that that was done successfully. Reporting live downtown, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.